Right, lovely. Darren, part two. This is the guinea pig one. Yeah. So we're going to do one of the hardest routes at Greenford. Yeah. You wanted to practice Greenford roundabout. 100%. When we get there, if you want to go over the roundabout again, I will just say, Darren, do you want to do the roundabout again? If you want to do it again, brilliant. We go over it again. Okay. Sure. Uh, so that's the biggest roundabout at Greenford. We're going to be using the slip roads on and off the dual carriageway, which is the A40 dual carriageway, something you wanted to practice. This is part of a test route. Okay, um, we're going to be driving for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Uh, you're the guinea pig because like on uh, all my other videos, I've been giving commentary as we're doing the junctions. This one, it's going to be so difficult for me to do, <laughs> but I'm going to be like an examiner. I'm okay. going to keep my mouth shut. It will be an uncomfortable silence pretty much all the way. We're not going to be using the sat nav for anybody that's watching. It won't be too uncomfortable for you because I'll probably do a voiceover about things that Darren's doing, giving positive feedback, mentioning anything that might come along the way regarding driver faults. We'll put the writing up at the top there to say that this is a driver fault work driver for it is etc so it's very clear and easy for someone that is watching this video to understand how a mock test is conducted which is under the same situations as a real test okay uh, so what we'll do is we'll follow the road ahead at all times this will be mentioned to you at the beginning of the test after the eyesight test and usually a tell me question as you walk towards the vehicle I'll do the tell me and show me question on the move that could be done as well on a real test okay, okay. if road markings or signs tell you otherwise then you follow road markings or signs otherwise follow the road ahead and if I need you to turn left or right I will give you directions we will be doing an independent drive roughly about 20 minutes of the test we'll be doing a maneuver possibly a controlled stop if you're happy with those directions and you're ready I'd like to drive on when it's safe to do so cool it's very important to set a good example when starting your test and Darren's doing an excellent example of this doing his POM routine He's prepared the gear, done his all-round observations, and signalled before moving off. At the end of the road, turn right. Darren's been given his first direction and now applied the mirrors, signal, position, speed, look routine. Um, for anybody that's watching, this has nothing to do with the mock test, but that's Greenford Test Centre in front of us there. You might be able to just see Driving Test Centre written on the front. As we approach the end of the road, there are five lines running down the centre of the road. If you cannot see clearly by the third line before the end of the road, this is called a closed junction. Take your time to peep and creep and do multiple observations. After Darren joins the new road, he applies his new road, new mirrors. This is an excellent habit to have to know who's following. Okay, um, yeah, different ways of going. Normally you'll go up to the top of the road and turn left, so that's what we're going to do. You can go down these side roads here, but there's nothing really to show you. Uh, they're a little bit narrow, you might have a meeting situation because they're quite quiet roads, alright? You probably just smooth sail through them and um, but this is a little bit more uh, valuable information okay to watch um, the end of the road we're going to turn left please at the end of the road turning left please do you remember about this junction yeah the hatch markings yeah are you problem. allowed to drive on them yes because they're broken excellent well done unlike the vehicle in front yeah <laughs> Darren is very aware and notices now that his left signal self cancels. He has his finger ready to reapply the signal in this situation. What's a good question to ask yourself to know if it's safe to drive out? Um, can you walk out? Perfect. No, I wouldn't have walked out. Though. Excellent. Because that driver was making progress. Mm, good words. Looks like it's going to be clear. Right. <laughs> it does make a difference with pills to us, doesn't it? Darren has made a very important comment about the technology for the hill starts in this vehicle, which is incredibly helpful at Greenford Test Centre. At the traffic lights, turn left, please. At the traffic light. Lovely, good timing, well done. Back 
can see how hard it is for me to not give any positive feedback <laughs> or say anything. This is hard for me to not talk. You can talk away, you can oh, say whatever you like, you can talk to the examiner. Oh, good. You can say, oh, so do you really like your job? <laughs> How many tests do you do a day? People do actually say, say stuff like that, you know. Uh, but it's like getting in a taxi and, and saying, busy night, mate. Yeah. <laughs> just feel but they're all right with it, aren't they? I mean, most of the time they're like, yeah, it has been actually, or no, nah, it's been quiet, you know. People love talking shop. Yeah. They do it, they, they finish work, they go to the pub with the colleagues, what do they do? They talk work. Talk about their work. I know I do. Yeah, <laughs> I do it with my mates as well, yeah. they're all driving instructors pretty much, so... Weird, isn't it? Yeah. We moan about work and then we go off in our private time and talk about it. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, so we're just turning off a warning light there on the dashboard, or a display. As Darren approaches the traffic light, it begins to turn amber. At this point, Darren is too close to do an emergency stop, which would be dangerous. Notice the vehicle on the left is starting to emerge. It has stopped and it's stationary. So Darren checks all his mirrors and proceeds with caution. This is the safest course. We do not want to have to stop unnecessarily, which would stop the traffic behind, resulting in one of the three S's and therefore committing a serious fault. Can you see the next junction coming up? There is a green traffic light. What if this traffic light turned red? What course of action would you take? Which one of the three S's would you need to do? Possibly you would combine them. The three S's are slow, stop or swerve. This is the only main actions you can take as a driver. For the next five minutes, I'd like to play a game called junctions. Every junction you see, say out loud. Your instructor would tell you to turn left or right or disregard. This helps you to become more independent. I know normal driving positions in the left lane, but it's completely blocked with park. Yeah. Uh, right. Where or when yeah. it's safe to do so, I'd like you to pull up in a convenient place on the left. In your driving test, your examiner will ask you to pull over at least three times to the left. Always pair your mirrors, interior and exterior left mirror on this occasion before signaling left and finding an appropriate place to pull up on the left. Remember pickling? Yeah. You've got some flashing red there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna drive on in a moment. A lot further down the road, when we get there, I will remind you. So until then, we're just going to be following the road ahead. Okay. It was just the front tyre, yeah? Okay. Back tyre will always be further away than the front tyre. So it came in at quite a sharp angle. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, when we get there, you're going to have a sign that says Oxford. Okay. When we get close to the sign, I will remind you we're going to follow the signs to Oxford. Okay? Okay. So just keep following the road ahead. When we get close to the sign, I'll remind you we're going to follow the sign to Oxford. Okay? okay? Good. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. If at any point on your driving test you're not sure of the directions or you believe you might have missed one of the road signs, do have a two way conversation with your examiner and ask them for directions. When you're in the junction, this would be in an appropriate time. Do not ask the examiner for directions at this moment, as it would be dangerous for them to give you directions. So do the safest direction that's possible. Follow your lane, turn left or right appropriately. Do not make any sudden changes of direction or speed, as this is when accidents are most likely to happen. Here Darren is on a very busy main road. He has been extremely patient and waiting for a break in the traffic. He remembers to do his all-round observations and have a signal before moving off. How do you like the silence? <laughs> this, this, this is so <laughs> Gosh. But it's a good thing to get used to for the test. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> mm. Actually, <laughs> what I should have done, yeah. shitting all over myself now, uh, grab one of my high-res jackets out the back. Ah, <laughs> you're probably authentic. Mm. Oh, no signs there. Now forget signs for now. Okay. So, uh, 
I just followed the right ahead, right? Mm-hmm. Close. Okay. That's a telling only lane. I know it is. Please be a telling only lane. <laughs> You're making more progress in this lane anyways. Yeah. All right? So remember, if you do ask me questions, which <laughs> kind of almost sounded like a question to me, um, then I will answer you answer you as an instructor, yeah. okay? Okay. So we've got that option on this if you want it, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, I will stay quiet. So that's not a turning only lane. It mm -hmm. is a straight and left turn lane. Yeah. Yet, you've made more progress. There's a queue of traffic. You've made more progress. So it's acceptable to use this lane. You're overtaken effectively, okay? Yeah. Look to the left now, you'll see a sign showing you a crossroads. If you're still playing the junction game, this will help you to identify junctions ahead. Remember that this will help you make decisions on your test and make you a more independent driver. Okay, so the signs we follow will be signs to Oxford, okay? So still a little bit further down. Can you see the fly over the bridge? It's a bit hard to see through the trees yeah. up there. That's green oh, for the roundabout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the one we wanted to practice. Yes. There's a sign down there. It's too far to read at the moment. Yeah. When you can see it, follow the best you can to Oxford. The roundabout that Darren's approaching is Greenford Roundabout. It is a multi-lane roundabout. Notice the sign on the left. Darren is following the sign to Oxford. It's the third exit turning right. He has chosen the centre lane. For this roundabout, that will be the safest lane for him to use. This will leave Darren closer to the left lane upon exiting. Darren is following the centre lane, looking ahead and identifying the road markings. Can you see them here? Darren is perfectly in between the white lines. Now every exit he's passing, he is pairing his mirrors to internal, external, left. He's also checking his blind spots, which will help him to pick up on any motorbikes before merging across to the left lane. Good job, Darren. Would you like to practice that roundabout again or continue? I'd like to continue. Okay, just keep following the road ahead. Darren used the left lane when exiting the roundabout. He has changed to the right lane. When changing lanes, you would need to check your interior mirror and right exterior mirror on this occasion to make sure it's safe to do so. Darren has failed to do this. I've marked it as a minor fault on this occasion due to me questioning him about repeating the roundabout. Your examiner will remain silent on your test. So we'll be continuing to follow signs to Oxford, please. Tell me, how would you know that your headrest is in the correct position or a safe position? The thickest part of the headrest needs to be at level with the top of your ears and your eyes. Okay. Oxford, please. Some of those, the Chris Evans bought one for what seven nine mil. Really? Similar what, to that. Um, our, our Chris Evans or the uh, our Chris Evans? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used to live near me and uh, in the uh, Labrador Grove. Yeah, the BBC is. Centre. Well, I don't know if it still is, but at the time it was the most expensive um, Ferrari ever bought. Oh. Yeah, it dropped. 
about, I think it was 7 mil. It might have been 9, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was at least 7 mil. Now I'd like you to follow the signs to rice slip, please. We are on the A40, which is the dual carriageway that's used at Greenford and Southall Test Centre. Darren's currently doing 40 miles an hour, passing through a 50 mile an hour speed limit with a slip road joining from the left. He's very observant with his mirrors and applying the signal to change into the left lane following the signs to right slip. He will be exiting at the next exit, then taking the third exit on the roundabout, turning right to right slip. At the roundabout, turn right, third exit. Remaining quiet at this time has allowed Darren to focus on checking his interior and right mirror to change from the left lane into the right lane. He's kept the right signal going and positioned himself in the correct lane to turn right at the roundabout. Upon exiting the dual carriageway, we have had a speed change from 50 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour, and it's important that you see this and adjust your speed accordingly. Third exit, you said, right? Correct. Okay. That's the end of the independent drive. I will continue to give you directions from now on. So, no more following signs. I will give you directions. Okay. Thank you. You can be asked to follow signs here. Um, so, I'll just mention it. It says South Harrow, but I'm going to tell you the second traffic light, so not this one, but the one in the distance. Yeah turning right towards, oh, south right slip, sorry. Okay. Okay, so turning right at the traffic lights. Right. Again, as Darren joins the new road, he does his new mirrors. This helps him for change of direction around the parked vehicles, as well as knowing if there's any following traffic, i.e. motorbikes. Now, before Darren changes his direction towards the left here after the blue van, he checks his interior, left mirror, and moves in. And now he's applying his interior mirror, right mirror, moving out around the parked vehicle, and again the interior, left mirror as he moves in to the left. At the second set of traffic lights, turn right. Turn right, the second set of traffic lights. Mm -hmm. So this is number one, number two. Here Darren is scoring two bonus points. He has heard at the second traffic light, turn right. He is repeating the directions back to the examiner, which is extremely helpful to establish that Darren has understood the directions given. Here there are two lanes turning right. Darren is scoring his second bonus point for using the left of the two lanes turning right. This is regarded as the normal driving position. Shortly after joining the new road, he has repeated his new road, new mirrors, which helps him for the road markings that are showing that he is merging into the traffic on the right. This is Victoria Road. Yesterday we did this road in the opposite direction, which had unorthodox round, one unorthodox. That's the Sainsbury's. Uh, we also used the right lane to go straight up. This was yeah. just normal. This way is normal. Yeah. Yeah. Straight, please. Look up. Sweet. Well done.
Sometimes, like yesterday, we talked about the examiners not giving you direction because at the beginning of the test they said follow the road ahead at all times unless they give you directions, okay, or road markings tell you otherwise. Yes. So I'm not going to give you any directions for the next roundabout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Find the road ahead. Good early vision, early decision. Roundabout turn right, third exit, please. Right, third exit. Correct. It's been bum in your face. <laughs> That's what one of the areas we wanted to progress in was yeah. the commitment, and I've noticed there's a couple of roundabouts you've done that. Yeah. I'd like to encourage it, so well done, yeah? yeah. I was wondering what is that? I think yeah. it's a Nissan, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know, else, one of the Zeds. Yeah, it might be a Skyline. The, the headlights looked a bit different though, yeah, but the yeah. back end looks like yeah. mm. it. The little circle. I'm not sure if you paid Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it was all about the Skyline. Yeah, it was all about Gran Turismo. Yeah, Gran Turismo. Yeah, Gran Turismo. Yeah, the that first one. Hard, yeah, on the PlayStation 1. Getting all the licenses. Oh, oh gosh. I'd give up because yeah. it was too difficult. My I mate was good at it, though. Did, did it you do it? Yeah, three months, yeah. man. Three we had to get the licenses. Yeah. Yeah. There was grades as well, wasn't there? Like yeah. gold, silver. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that game was complicated. Still going though, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful game. Mm. But it's all about Forza these days. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, the graphics are pretty cool. For a game like that, I think you really want to drop that thousand pound and get the whole seat, yeah. the frame, the pedals, <laughs> the steering wheel. Don't matter if you crash then, does it? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't cost you, like, God knows how much. It depends on what car you're driving, doesn't it? Have you seen the ones where the seat's in the air and it's yes, on all it hydraulics? Yes. And it moves. Oh, those are so cool. amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But obviously, like, I can't use them. Can't oh, yeah. <laughs> Six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really have to, I, I'd have to make my own one. <laughs> you would, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I've got a little steering wheel and pedals and stuff. Roundabout um, turn left. Uh, sorry, traffic lights turn left, please. Yeah, the steering wheel and pedal is pretty cool. They're quite cheap, aren't they? Depending on what one. Uh, the problem is, um, you haven't got all the uh, little gubbins on the side. So, like all the like turning right, the um, le the levers. Sorry. Yeah. Just got a wheel. The pedals on it. Yeah, pedals. Yeah. yeah. But because I got a gear stick, I tend to use those. For, oh, you've got that as well. Yeah, I tend right. to use those for in for, for indicators. Oh, fine. Yeah, because okay. I play. Yeah. Uh, I want to see this on film. <laughs> <laughs> I play Euro, I play Euro Truck Simulator. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I had another student that also did a driving simulator thing yes. as well. Yeah. yeah, it helped them a lot. Yes, it's very helpful. When we reach the roundabout, turn right, third exit, please. Notice Darren's awareness and planning. He has seen the bus lane and checked the times of operation on the sign. He knows that we are outside the times, therefore he must use the bus lane. Failing to do so may result in a serious fault. Darren has changed into the right lane early. This is excellent positioning. He's checked his interior and right mirror and not signalled for the lane change as there are no vehicles following that would benefit. He has very early vision and early decision at the roundabout, noticing that there are no cars in the danger zone, therefore proceeding to emerge out onto the roundabout. If we stop when it's not necessary, this can result in a serious fault for undue hesitation. Yeah, a little bit of resurfacing. Okay, at the next roundabout, we'll be going straight second exit, please. Correct. Hard to keep lane discipline in that one. With Very the difficult. Cars. Yeah, you did the correct lane discipline. So until you reach the point where there's no more parked cars, we'll be in the middle pretty much, and then we move over. Yeah. Right. Next roundabout. Sometimes there's no direction given, so you'd obviously follow the road ahead. A lot of people don't see it. However, I'd like you to turn right on the roundabout, second exit. Very hard to see when a bus covers the sign. <laughs> Very good. If you put yourself in their seat, looking yeah. at you, yeah. you're on the right. They got to give you priority. Uh, uh, uh. Roundabout. First exit, turning left. First exit turning left. <laughs> if you look really closely, you will see Darren closes his left eye. This will help him to use the reference points on the dashboard more effectively and not get a blurred vision. However, this can play with your depth perception. So be careful. It's going to people's head. Too close. Too close. There. You're flashing red. A little bit close, but there we go. Yeah, yeah see how it did a little yeah. flash red. Oh. Get some practice in with your other instructor on that, yeah? Yes. Set reference points if it helps, okay? Yeah. Maybe your other instructor's got some other ideas, okay? Yeah. Uh, what do you think would help you with the width restrictions? Um, practice. If, yeah, Just I, I practice. would have thought that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100%. Now remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Mm. Perfect practice makes perfect. Exactly. Right, also, yesterday we talked about practicing the joining road onto the A40. We spoke about it today. And I said, what I'd do is I'd modify this route to get you to join on yeah. where we exited yesterday where all the traffic was on the A40. So yes. I'm gonna take you through there. Now, here I don't need to give you direction. Yeah. Why? Because um, the road goes around to the left, it's following the road ahead. Lovely. So that's when, yeah, very good. So that's when examiners would be quiet because road signs, markings tell you otherwise. Keep the right lane, please. I want you to go all the way around the roundabout and come back. Oh. 
Okay, we haven't done any show me tell me questions, have we? Not on this one, I don't no, think. No, no, no. Our short term memories are. Oh, so I was feeling lucky. I was thinking, yeah, I got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, actually, I think I did. Did I ask you to tell me one about the uh, headrest on this one? Yeah, you told me about the headrest. Yeah, oh, right. we did have the headrest. Yeah, we had the headrest one to tell me. Uh, would you be able to show me yeah. how you would demiss the front window, please, yes, awesome. when it's safe? Fantastic, thank you. Amazing. Oh, oh it's good. Oh, sorry. I thought I had two different speed settings then. Because <laughs> yeah. actually, um, when I was going through some of the, the show me questions of my instructor, um, I was, I kept wondering why I kept swerving. I was doing all sorts of stuff, just trying to figure stuff out. And um, what one of your videos taught me is one second, just one yeah. second. Look. If you don't know what it is, just just do that. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't look for like for more than a second. No, two seconds is too long. Is what two is two seconds is too long. Yeah. yeah. Take the next road on the right, please. Street signs can be useful. Oh yeah, I see it there, yeah. yeah. Good assessment. Darren, we're going to be doing your manoeuvre on this road. Your manoeuvre will be the one that we haven't done. Uh -oh. Okay, so a yeah. bit further down. Yeah. If there's a safe area, I'd like you to pull over and stop on the right side of the road, please. Yeah. Don't worry too much about driveways. Okay. It's alright if you stop in front of a driveway on this occasion. Only stop in front of a driveway or a drop curb if the examiner tells you to disregard them on this occasion. That's yeah, it's entirely up to you wherever you want to stop, yeah. as far as you like. Okay? Cool. Right, when you're ready, I'd like you to reverse back roughly two car lengths in a straight line, keeping a reasonable distance from the curb. Okay. When starting your manoeuvre on your driving test, it's very important to do your POM routine. This means you prepare, you observe, and you move. Darren's prepared reverse gear, then it's all round observations from least dangerous to most dangerous, and then begun to move back. Now Darren's doing an excellent job of his observations. I have been a little bit strict on him here. Notice how when he looks over to his most dangerous side being the overtaking traffic, he is looking past the central pillar, really twisting his body. But when he looks over to the least dangerous, being the pedestrians, not twisting as much past that central pillar and looking out the back right window. Alright, Darren, yeah. that's fine, yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah. When you're ready, yeah. you've noticed, yeah? Yeah. Have a little yeah. open, open your door and just have a little look out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on, please. Just being a little bit wide of the curb here at the end of the reverse right maneuver, I have given Darren a minor fault for control. He has done a good job and passed his maneuver to test standard. This road has speed bumps on it. Roads with speed bumps are most commonly 20 miles an hour. 
The car makes a warning chime here to alert us that we are over the speed limit. Keep looking for traffic signs to tell you the speed limit as the car and the sat nav may be incorrect. So that's a maneuver we haven't done before. Yeah. Uh, you might have blind spot mirrors on your other instructor's car. So if the blind spot mirror on the right can help you to assess how far away you are from the right. Yeah. Okay, okay at the end of the road, turn left, please. It's very important to stay focused on your driving test. If at any point you believe that you've received a major fault, you most likely haven't. Staying focused is way more important. If you stay focused, the chances of you passing are a lot higher. So put this behind you and focus on the road ahead. Okay, I don't want you to go on the drive, on the pavement. Just pull up on the left, please. Just next to that bit of raised curb there, okay? You can see people parked on the pavement, but we'll just stop next to the curb there. <laughs> All right. Is. All right. <laughs> when you're ready, safe drive on. <laughs> These are good landmarks to pick up on because after this, we've got chicanes and joining the dual carriage road, that big green warehouse, maybe these width restrictions with jogging memory. Okay. okay, so after this is where we join on to the A40. Not immediately, but a bit yeah. further down. Width restrictions can be difficult. This car is equipped with visual and audio aids to help. So what colour is the, width, uh, the warning light here? It's red. So I'm too close to this is side. Is it red? Oh, it's orange. And you see the bars. Yeah. So look, we're three bars over. Three bars over. Oh, I see. All right. And you've got orange on that side. So yeah. at the moment, all good. But now that's gone flashing red. Yeah. Too much. Too much. So, so when you do a steering yeah. and you want to steer away that yeah. much, that much. That means you won't get any closer to that side. Yeah. But you won't dramatically get too close to that side. Yeah? Because right. if we put loads of steering on, to give a little bit more left. There you go. Alright. Can you see the distance? Don't go right, don't go don't, right, because you've still got flashing red there. Okay. Yeah? Have a look at your circle mirror, yeah, so you get a gauge of where you are. Oh. Okay? See one of those fire keys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then you can get yourself a fire truck as well. <laughs> <laughs> Chicanes here on the left are not cemented. It's just a white road marking. We have yeah. priority and proceed ahead. Just a blob. Yeah. Road marking, no, well done for picking up on that. A lot of people drive straight over the top of that. That would be a serious fault for road markings. These are the chicanes. We came up here yesterday, yeah. This can be one of the most difficult junctions at Greenford. We are going on to a 40 mile an hour dual carriageway with a very short slip road. There's multiple checks to the right side to make sure it's safe to emerge out. We have to adjust our speed from 20 miles an hour to 40 miles an hour in the space of 100 yards. If you feel it's not safe to emerge, you are allowed to stop before crossing the white line onto Thank the dual carriageway. I'd like you to take the next main exit, okay, so it's the big one that's coming up a bit further down on the left, okay? okay. Excellent. When seeing the countdown markers for the next exit, you must signal. Make sure that you cancel the signal after crossing the white line on the exit slip road. Sometimes leaving the signal on here and passing the next road on the left will result in a serious fault for an incorrect signal, misleading road users. At the roundabout, take the first, take the first exit, turning left.
make such an effort to say my THs properly that I actually <laughs> said an F for the same way as a TH. <laughs> Usually my THs are Fs, now I'm turning my Fs into THs. All right, and this is Greenford Road, this is Greenford Roundabout, the one we did earlier, yeah? Yeah. Nice and simple one this time, we're just turning left and heading back towards the test centre, all right? All right. In the last few minutes of the exam, people can start to lose focus. We are joining Greenford Road. Darren has noticed the road markings, telling us that we are merging into the right. He has done his new road, new mirrors routine, noticed the pedestrians at the left hand side of the zebra crossing and slowed down, showing the examiner that he has taken notice and is prepared to stop if necessary. Oh, that's an old one. Hey. Oh, it's an oh. The hell is oh, an it's R. Yeah. Actually, are they st is that the electric thing that's come out now? Oh. Oh. They've got a module out now, yeah, brand new yeah, one. Yeah, um, well, it's not out yet. Did you, t you told me about it, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's on the show fully charged. Yeah. Chris Llewellyn is the guy. Yeah, yeah subscribe to that. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a check, check that out. This, I like this, him. I think it's called AOC or something. Okay. EOC, yeah. It must be EOC. Just the use for electric. Is it electric or hybrid? 100% electric. 100% electric. Yeah. 20 miles range. Okay, that's yeah. pretty decent. Yeah, it's got 110 kilowatt um, charger. Oh, charger. Yeah. I don't know anything about okay. electric cars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all well, the stats are different now. <laughs> yeah. I just know that they're the way of the future. Yes. Some of the electric charging points I've noticed say 100% renewable energy. Ah, oh, so they're sourcing it from good sources, no? There's a lot of arguments against um, electric cars is that um, you know we get electric from dirty sources. Mm. I think the main problem now is how do you dispose of the batteries though? Mm. Mm. Problem with being in the snow is part. No, it's all clear. The self-commentary that Darren has just given is an excellent insight to his planning. Red traffic lights are your friends. He mentioned that the problem with the left lane on this part of the road is that there's parked cars. After the lorry had moved, he could see further down the road and realized that there weren't any parked cars for a considerable distance. Here we have parked cars. He has checked his internal mirror right mirror and change lane safely. Oh, this is where we start turning. Correct, yeah, facing towards the Greenford roundabout, this is Greenford Road. When we reach the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn right, okay? So at the traffic light, turn right. Giving you very early directions. Darren does a fantastic job of checking his mirrors before signaling here, positioning early, and then adjusting the speed from a running to jogging to walking speed. You are allowed to stop in yellow box junctions for turning right if necessary, as long as the exit's clear. Darren looks into the new road, sees the exit's clear, and looks for any meeting situations that he may have to stop before moving further into the new road. At the end of this video, I mentioned in the debrief, I gave him a minor fault, as I wasn't too sure if he checked his mirrors before signaling. If you pull up in a safe place on the left, please. <laughs> Trees are usually good ones. Yeah. A big bit of raised curb next to a tree there. Uh, Lamp post to the telegraph pole. Yeah. Possibly there. I'm going to do it just down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. They're good ways of trying to spot um, a bit of raised curb from a distance. Yeah. 
there's also that other thing about stopping close to a junction. <laughs> yeah, it's, the highway code says it's 10 metres out from a junction. So this is not a safe place. <laughs> uh, well, legally, it's fine. Safe, mm -hmm. maybe not, because okay. it's obscure in the junction. Okay. okay, when you're ready and it's safe, okay. turn left, please. Hmm. Okay. Remember, you can ask me, I'll answer as a driving instructor. There we go. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> So I won't pick up on that on the film, okay. although I might remember it, okay? So why did I say good choice? And I could see you were <laughs> contemplating. What, 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 what am I talking about? Confusing signals. Right, good. So <laughs> what signal did you use on that occasion to mo before moving off and why? Um, because we were right by the junction. We were right by the junction. Like, um, people may think that I'm going to move off and uh, go straight had I used the right signal. So instead of that right signal, you chose to signal left. Yeah, and that's where we were heading. So that would have been more appropriate, yeah? yeah. Less confusing, like you mentioned. We are now approaching the end of this mock test. Please stay tuned for the debriefing. You will notice that in the debriefing, I mentioned that I've given Darren two minor faults for mirror checks before signaling. It's just like winning the Oscar. Make sure you put on your best performance. Moving your head will clearly show the examiner that you have checked the mirrors. So I ended the road turn, right? Okay. Thank you. An M3. Yeah, I like those old ones. Yeah, yeah. it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I much prefer the old shapes. Yeah. yeah, the newer ones, they look a bit plasticky as well. They're too shiny. Yeah. It's like the i8 as well. Right. Yes, sorry, yeah. thank you. That's me getting bloody distracted again by oh. cars. Fingers. <laughs> there should be a car salesman instead. <laughs> There's your car there. Oh, yeah, the big hammer. That's oh, a H2. But remember uh, Christopher Eubank used to have one of those? Did it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm driving around. Oh, we're back at the test again. Okay. Yeah, we're back here. All right, take the next road on the left, please. And then just pull up behind the red car on the left, don't worry about the driveways, anywhere on the left, please. Thank you, switch off the engine. And that's the end of the test, okay? okay? So just relax. Um, now, how do you feel before I disclose anything? How do you feel that went? I feel I could have done better. Why? Uh... Mostly to do with going through the barriers. That's it. <laughs> because it's just a repeated mistake. Yeah. yeah it's a repeated mistake. Uh, I, I need to work on that. 100%. Yeah, just get a little bit of work in on that. Yeah, and now, uh, yeah. probably a couple of situations where I went a bit too fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a little bing bong. So you've yeah. responded to that. It hasn't gone like five miles an hour over, okay? So yeah. the examiners generally, I can't say this indefinitely, but they do have discretion. Now, you've reacted to the warning chime which we had on this vehicle, warning you that you've gone slightly over the speed limit, yeah. and you've adjusted your speed accordingly and promptly, okay? So I haven't marked it, right? Okay. And that's, the, that's the, from my experience, the kind of the way it works, okay? okay. Uh, right, now on a legal term, one mile an hour over is still over the speed limit, okay? So that's okay. my, um, what's the word? Um, get out of jail free card there's a legal term for that so uh, disclaimer, disclaimer that's my disclaimer okay. right okay now um 
I've put circles as a second test, just in case when you walk away with oh. your test report, you wonder, why is there lines and circles? Okay. So lines were the first one, circles are the second one. So I've passed you. Okay, so that's a pass. Well done. Um, yes, do you, you want to work on what you've mentioned, okay, yes. which would be the width restrictions? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a total of seven minor faults, okay? Yeah. Um, now, what I've given you is two minor faults for your reverse right exercise. That's when yes. we're pulling over on the right and reversing back roughly two car lengths. I really want to see you. I know it must be difficult because you're quite a large lad, yeah. but I want to see you twist your body a bit yeah. more so, to so, look out the right side. So, oh, so not. Like yeah. this. So, so like I need to be like this. Yes, like you're okay. trying to crack your back, yeah, yeah. break your neck, okay. yeah, um, and really look out that back window. Okay, okay? Uh, we call this glances. Now okay. some examiners will fail you for glances. Okay, okay? right. Um, so just a little bit more twist on your observations. Okay, okay. Uh, so minor for that control. We're a bit wide of the curb, so I've got you to open the door to have a little look down. Yeah. Uh, blind spot mirrors are on pretty much every single driving instructor's car that I've seen. Mm. Okay, there are exceptions, as there's always exceptions to rules. Okay, uh, but blind spot mirrors should be angled. Should again, so I'm shooting all over myself again. Right, should be uh, angled to see the pavement. That's why we put them there. Yeah. All right. Um, it also helps us inside knowledge here, us as an instructor sitting here to actually see a bit more out because we can use those mirrors to see out. Okay. okay, so just a minor for being a bit out. So that's the control minor fault there. Okay, okay. now uh, a couple of minors for observate, uh, mirror checks. Okay? okay, now I might be wrong on this. So if anybody's very eagle died and watching this, the last crossroads we had turning right the last crossroads we had turning right the one where i gave you very early direction saying that the traffic light turned right yes i didn't see if you checked your mirrors before signaling right that's okay? the one where the bus was we waited for the bus to move off before turning right was no, oh, okay. no, it's after that. Um, oh, okay. So we're coming up Greenford yeah. Road just before we turned off Greenford Road. Now, maybe a little glance with your eyes, okay? Yeah. I can't actually, probably because I'm so sure, I can't actually see your eyes in oh. this mirror. Normally I can. Okay. So I would see if your eyes glanced over, no. but the head was very locked on. Okay. So if you did an eye glance, I didn't notice it. No. So maybe you did check your mirrors. But these are things that you need to make, make obvious it, uh, Yeah, to like we are talking about with exactly. the shoulder checking. Yeah. Really twist. And there's no exactly. arguments, yeah. okay? It's just minor because yeah. your position's held. Maybe you did check your mirrors, yeah. okay? It just be a bit more... More blatant, yeah. yeah. That's how I passed my test second time. So yeah. there's no arguments, the head's moving, bobbing mm. around, and then there's like no question that you aren't observant. You're very observant, by the way. Okay, mirror checks for change of direction. This was the exit off the Greenford roundabout. Now, yeah. do you want me to be well? I've already been nice examiner. I was going to yeah. ask you this. Do you want me to be nice examiner or mean examiner? Mean every time. All right, mean. I would have failed you for that then, really? because what's happened is we've exited the roundabout, Greenford roundabout. Your beautiful lane discipline and gliding and steering off mirror signal, gliding out, steering off pavements. Your friend, yeah. as we've come off the Greenford roundabout, maybe it's from me asking, did you want to practice that roundabout again? Which kind of gave you a little lapse of discipline instead of keeping it tight to the pavement on the left it's glided out and over into the right lane because there's two okay. lanes on yeah, the exit yeah. now all right even yeah. a mean examiner probably give it to you because there wasn't anybody on the right that would have been affected the three s's okay yes. all right now Clearance, we talked about a little bit more work on the rip restrictions. Yeah. Last one, position normal stoppings. Uh, normal, sorry, this felt like my teeth was a bit looser. Normal stopping. So yeah. we talked about a convenient place, a uh, safe place. We stopped on the corner there. Sometimes. Legally, you can park there. Yeah. There's no restrictions. So it's not major. Yeah. You can stop there. In convenient the or safe, probably not. Go on. In the test, if I've missed my opportunity, I just continue. Keep going. Just continue to say, well, sorry, I, I can't stop on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Keep going. Because right, you don't have to do it if it's not safe. Exactly. Yeah, okay, and there's plenty more occasions down yeah. the road, somewhere else where the examiner will say, pull over and stop again. Right. Okay. Okay, thank you very, very much. Very good. Yeah, no, awesome. really, really appreciate that. Um, 
yeah, it was a bit hard for me to bite my tongue, but <laughs> I did my best, okay? I'll try and get better. If um, anybody doesn't like it, comment, please. If anybody does like it, comment, please. And um, thanks again to Darren. Brilliant. Nice job, mate. Thanks a lot. Yeah, appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye.